you're going to need a bunch of hardware in order to play the simulator. One of them is you're going to need a flight remote. The other is you're going to need an adapter that can basically turn your flight remote into a controller on your computer. Like some flight remotes use little a USB cable that's proprietary for connecting it to your computer. Where in my case, I have a little wireless trainer dongle. Because I use a DX60, I use the DRX. Basically, you bind your remote to this little USB dongle. And that's how you fly with. So let's get on with the review. Well, when you first open up the software, you're going to have to go to here. And I'm very sorry if this is a bit laggy. It, it is very laggy. Okay. So when you go into the flight sim, since we don't have a controller plugged into it, well, what you do is you go to assign controller, you pick something off of this list, assign sticks, which you will follow the instructions up here to do that. We're not going to go into it this video. You can do it on your own. But anyways, then there is the multiplayer for if you want to play with a bunch of friends and stuff, which I've not, not really explored that much just because the single player is all I really like. There's also the track editor for if you want to make your own track. And there's the options, which we're going to go into. This is just to show you the cool stuff you can do in it. Screen settings. Quad settings. Yeah. There you go. These are some of the settings. I've not really messed around with these too much. I just like the simulator as is. So you're going to go into single player. And the this is the Meteor 65 quadcopter. This is the quadcopter I normally use when I do this simulator. But there's all kinds you can choose from. Like, all kinds, like literally. <laughs> there's like oh, so many, you, you can't possibly use them all <laughs> and get used to them. Oh, that's nice. I want to try this at some point. So then what you do is you go into this. And you type in a name, and I'm just going to think of a name. There we go. Then you can go back, and you just select the quad. OK, so here are some of the tracks. You can't really view them from here but each um each scene literally has tracks with it so you could potentially you have so many tracks you can choose from you can't possibly choose them all anyways i'm going to go into some racing right now so please enjoy this
So I've never been competitive about drone flying before. With that said, this simulator has increased my skill level as a drone pilot so much. I'm like at least twice the pilot I was two weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible for me. This is really incredible. And I hope you people find this something similar. So thank you for watching and bye.